Jared Lugner, Lugner the um, suspect in the shooting of uh, Congress lady uh, Gabriella Gifford, uh, he doesn't stand a chance with his insanity plea and, and strategy in Arizona. Now, I know of a place where he could must up a lot of um, uh, currency and end up walking. Now, if he were to have his attorneys transfer his case to Jacksonville, Florida, and appear before Judge um, David Gooden and his psychologist being uh, Dr. Stephen Bloomfield, oh, you're sure he's going to walk, man? Because this uh, judge here, he seemed to be of the same type of intellectual uh, abilities. In fact, uh, I think he has a diminished uh, uh, capacity because he said of himself that uh, he really can't remember from one day to the next. And um, his face looks as if he's an alcoholic. Um, I don't know if he's using drugs or whatever. But um, uh, he sleeps during the trial. And then when he wakes up, um, the, the, his staff going to bring him up to speed and then he's going to make a ruling on it. And then he's so lazy, he will have other people write his opinion and sign it. And then it looks as if this is an objective judge who has made this ruling and these findings. And then the appeals court are willing to see on his side. But he gets the prosecutor to write the opinion. I've never heard of that before. He had, um, uh, what's her name, Summer Saladino, to write his opinion. And she is trying to get my child taken away because the FBI told her to uh, do this. And so it, it, I'm shut out from the start. But the psychologist is hilarious. Um, he basically, um, he comes up with anything that's fictitious. I, I think that basically, as I said in other videos, that uh, many psychologists, and I believe he's one, who seem to have had some mental problem. And uh, they said, you know what, I can be a psychologist so I could help myself and don't look stupid. And um, then, of course, you discover that you could make a whole bunch of money. He has written opinions on many folks who just turned around and took it and went and got a check from the government, Social Security income. Now, uh, Jared Log Logner has already started his thing. He started with his uh, G-string, taking a picture with a gun in his hand, uh, disrupting class, uh, talking to himself. So he has set up enough evidence that independently could show that he seemed to be crazy. Now, his girlfriend was on uh, television the other day saying that <laughs> this guy is saying he's just fiend, fiend it. Uh, uh, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, he stands a real good chance if he were to go to Jacksonville because if he gets uh, this guy, uh, Dr. Stephen Bloomberg, who is a friend of, um, you know, Judge David Gooden, then bingo, he's going to walk. Because, as I said, I heard him, Judge Gooden said that, um, he needs uh, this guy to come and explain something to him how um, domestic violence affects children. Now, I don't understand how he could know that. I mean, how does he know that? Is he trying to take his mind as being a child and see the parents fighting and, oh, it's like it's going to break my heart. And then he just extrapolate this or project it on a child and say, you know, this is the case. Um, what about if the child sees um, a film star of his um, being you know, beaten up on the television show. Is that enough? Would it cause the same type of trauma? Well, why not take the child away from that home and, and from uh, ban him from watching television? So they, they, they're they real hilarious down in Jacksonville, Florida. And I think that um, if, the press, if the defense really, really want a chance in this case, they need to get it into um, Judge Gooden's court and um, into the... Uh, psychologist Bloomfield. You know, I, I, I often wonder why judges wear black robes. Um, in, in this guy's case, Judge Gooden, I mean, they're, they're evil. Uh, they'll watch you in your face and discriminate against you. And, um, you know, th that's, that's like Kong Dracula, you know what I mean? I think judges should wear white because they're um, exhibiting a righteousness. Jesus says the robe of righteousness, wear well, white robe of righteousness. And you expect that... Um, but, you know, coming from the Middle Ages where, you know, it was an evil situation. I guess that's why they wear the black robe. But some of these people, like Judge Gooden, um, I think they deserve the black robe because they're so evil that, uh, you know, one day the federal government might get smart to them and get rid of them. 
but uh, eventually God is going to deal with them. And as a matter of fact, these these lies and these tricks they're playing on the, on the, on the citizens, it, it is being registered in heaven. You see, they have um, sort of immunity, and I don't understand why they give them immunity, especially when they're being malicious and, and violating the law flagrantly. They should be thrown in jail so that um, when they do wrong like this, it's adding up on America's kind of legend in heaven. God is taking record of all these evil that these judges put on um, the citizens. Um, and eventually, uh, when it becomes way beyond, he's going to declare like how he declared in Babylon. You've been weighed in the balances and you're found wanting. And right now, it's over. So that President Obama, um, I don't know if he could get the judiciary to reform and let him start being honest, but they are a part of the equation that is kind of sinking the, the republic. You know, you can't walk the streets of Jacksonville, Florida without the fear of some cop on a cop, cop coming to you and ask you a favor. I pressure you and say, man, I'm hurting real bad. You know, I'm trying to appeal to your sympathy, not at your, your criminal intent. You say, man, I need something to smoke, but you know, I'm hurting real bad, man. I need me a guilt. And when you direct them, they charge you direct in traffic. Um, they lock up the prostitute, they lock up the uh, drug dealer. And as a matter of fact, when they go to court on Monday and their court is not filled, they're upset. They call the sheriff and say, man, what's wrong with you, bro? I mean, I have nothing to do, man. You want me to get fired or what, bro? You got to do some work now. You see the run to the road and rest in folks. Um, fella come up to me once. He said, um, hey, man, I have this uh, diamond ring here for sale, bro. You don't want it to buy? Nope. I don't want nothing to buy, bro. Because, you see, that would be taken from somewhere to scene. And when you purchase it and they write up and say that you went through that light, they have probable cause now, and then you're behaving suspicious, so you execute a search warrant, and you find out that you could be executed just like that. So all these entrapment stuff that is going on in Jacksonville, and this judge here taking away people's kids. I mean, look, you have a God-given right to uh, have your children grow up with you, okay? He is going to use his evil self and take your kids away and give it to some stranger or to the department. And all they're about is money. So that now this child grows up, doesn't have any connection to anybody on earth. Um, because, you see, uh, parent-child um, uh, infinity down the road is basically, it's not just like, oh, after 40 years, you and my child is the, the, the dependence and the so services and the helps and the uh, fascination with the growth and all that. That is what cements the relationship. And so when they give them over to these people who are just looking for a check, and the children grow up, and then they just put them out in, in the street. Even if they know the parents, it's like the parents is just like a, a stranger because they hadn't grown up with them. And so uh, for the rest of the style, child's life, now they're going to have all kind of mental problems. They're going to fill up the jails, fill up the prostitution ranks, and all this stuff. And then this judge here now getting a big check. In fact, at, at first he started to rule in our favor, but the department know that they didn't get him because if he plays stupid and don't get him the check, you know, from the federal government, they'll report him to whoever up in Tallahassee and he'll be history. So he has to come along and, and do what they want. And I think that the federal government needs to investigate this judge, Gooden, and this psychologist, um, Stephen Bloomberg, because they could make this guy who tried to shoot the, uh, to assassinate the Senate, the Congress lady up in Arizona walk because they're so evil and corrupt. I, I, I recommend that Congress, you know, hold a hearing on these corrupt judges and officials in Florida.